there, it's Jo here from Creative Empowerment. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough and how to use one of the Oracle decks that I've had for a really long time but I do love and feels very, very sacred to me. So we're going to look at how to use medicine cards. And these are Jamie Sands and David Carson's medicine cards. So these cards have been around for a really long time, 1988. So they look quite different from a lot of cards or oracle cards that you may have seen now. But they are some of my most favourite ones. I don't use them all the time. I save them for deep messages. So let's have a look at these beautiful cards and then look at how I use them and how you might use them. So here we have the medicine cards and I don't have the original box. But this is the book that comes with the cards. And as you can see it's quite a... Um, a detailed book. There's a lot of information that's in here. There are 52 cards. There's actually more. There's a few blank ones. But there are 52 animal medicine cards. And so these, these medicine cards are all about the medicine from the animals. And they've, Jamie Sams and David Carson have done a lot of work with these cards in the sense of the knowledge that they are bringing together or bringing forth for us to use in an oracle deck. And so that's one of the blank cards and um, I think they call it a shield. So there's the, the area there where they'll usually have an animal and then they have some medicine objects hanging. So it could be a medicine pouch, some coral, an antler and a feather. So all the cards have different medicine aspects hanging from, from the animal and then they have, you know, like um, sky and earth being represented on the cards and the back of the card has a transformational thunder clap. These cards, did I say that, um, 1988, so a long time ago. These have been around. I haven't had them that long, but, you know, this is a really robust and it's a revised expanded edition. It's really different from a lot of decks that you will see now. However, it's probably one of the forerunners. So there's in the beginning, there's some medicine card spreads. And those, I've done a few of those and they're very sacred. You know, there's a lot of sacred information and energy that is, that is you know, talked about in these cards and, and in this guidebook. So some great information there. I'll open that page and moose keeps coming up for me, which is really great. I love moose. It's all about self-esteem. And so often on the first page you'll have a, sometimes it can be a little saying, a song, uh, or a bit of verse about um, the animal. So for this one it's moose, help me to honour the gifts I can give and recognise my worthiness long as I live. And then there's a longer, longer explanation Moose is found in the north of the medicine wheel, talks about that. It talks about the moose itself. Then it might talk about traditions um, and stories about moose. And then it also gives you um, a bit about moose medicine and then a contrary. So if you draw the card upside down. The imagery is are these beautiful images, very detailed. And like I said before, they have things hanging down. That, that add to the message that you're getting. And usually there's also one word that also helps you get the energy of these cards. So now I'm going to flip, go through the cards and do a bit of a, a flick through. They're um, published by Martin's Press New York, these cards. And like I said, you get quite a few um, void cards. So I'm going to flick through the cards while talking about how I use these cards and how you might use them. So these cards are great for pulling a card a day. So, you know, shuffling the cards and asking spirit what sort of medicine you need to work with at the moment. What sort of um, medicine do you need to bring into your life? Perhaps asking your guides and spirit, um, spirit guides or higher self. You know, what sort of energetic medicine is right for you at this time all those sorts of things there's um you know one card and then you know read from the guidebook how to use that medicine and and the sort of stories that go along with it 
And then they've, of course, there's using it in a mixed spread with other other decks. Crow is one of my favourite. I love how Crow is looking at its own reflection and looking at itself. You know, Crow can be about the void and um, and the shadow. So there's a lot of information in, in these images. And I love often that the imagery, it looks, in, in the beginning, it looks like it's not highly detailed in the sense that you may not get a lot from it straight away, but I think these images build and grow with you. Armadillo with its hard outer shells and then, you know, that repetition happening there. Um, Otter, very playful, very relaxed and, you know, in that beautiful stance. Turtle. So, yeah, you know, you've got all your animals that, well, not all your animals, but a lot of animals. And obviously these are North American um tradition and there are some animals uh, you know as i'm an australian there's some animals that i'm not that familiar with like an opossum and these are some of the the deeper messages you know like you're going to get really deep messages these aren't for just pulling a card a day and and wanting to just go on to the next thing these are, you know, you're working with really deep spiritual messages here, um, deep medicine that, you know, you really want to connect to. You really want to take your time and and look into what's what's coming up for you when you're using these cards. So I'll go back to what I was talking about before um, where I talked about, you know, you can use these in a mixed reading with other cards, with tarot or oracle cards. You could use these, I have read read from these singly in a spread in the sense of using them past, present and future or the types of medicine that you're working with. So th there's those two levels, you know, there's the, the spirit of the animal and animal spirit messages. Then you've got the, the, the medicine that you're working with, with these um, cards. And there's moose, which I talked about before, and salmon. And they're drawing from, and there's raven. Um, they're drawing from North American traditions with the knowledge that they're bringing with these cards. And I, they are beautiful. The imagery is so beautiful, so detailed, simple but detailed at the same time. And, you know, some a lot of the animals are, are quite quiet and then you've got like mountain lion that's just roaring, taking, wanting to be taken notice of. And you notice that the, the objects hanging from the shield, as they call it, you know, they can give you information about the cards. And when you're doing a spread, you'll also notice whether they're um, the shield is repeated or whether they're all different um, you know there's lots of things to take away from these these cards and and how you might use them in a reading so you can see that that feather is the same there but then the other objects are different and that always that that, that stuff adds to the reading so what I might do is I might shuffle these cards and connect to what the audience watching this today needs to know from these cards today. From what sort of me medicine do they need to work with? And the card that came out is mouse. So now before we have a look at the, the guidebook, um, take a good look at the mouse image and we've got a little tiny creature that is in the fork of a tree with big wide eyes so really noticing what's going on around them backed into a position where they feel really safe and secure however there's there's nowhere to go at the same time so this card talks of um, being a predator, um, you know, having predators watching you or very watchful um, 
very watchful, um, timid animal. So let's have a look at um, what the guidebook talks about with mouse. And it's number 20. Mouse, if I could see the world through your tiny eyes, maybe then I would know how to scrutinise. And the, the key word for mouse is scrutiny. Every detail carries weight and true to its purpose, it has a perfect puzzle place to stop the three ring circus. Hmm, that's interesting. Mouse says, I will touch everything with my whiskers in order to know it. Paradoxically, paradoxically, this is both, both a great power and a great weakness. It is good medicine to see it up close. It is good medicine to see up close. It is good medicine to pay attention to detail, but is bad medicine to chew every little thing to pieces. Mouse has many predatory em enemies, including birds, snakes, and cats. Since mouse is food for many, it, it has a highly developed sense of danger at every turn. So-called civilization is a highly complex set of components, each which calls for more and more organisational skills and scrutiny to every uh, to detail every year. I definitely need mouse mouse medicine. Mouse is a powerful medicine to have in the, in these modern times. Things that might appear insignificant to others take on enormous importance to mouse. Mouse people anger many other medicine types because they appear to be nitpickers. Most pe mouse people will spot the lint on your coat, even if it matches in colour. They will try to convince you that the simplest task is fraught with difficulty. They are fixated on methodology. They sort and categorise and file away for later use. They may seem like they are hoarding, but this is the farthest thing from mouse's mind. They are merely putting everything in order so that they'll be able to explore it more carefully at a later date. The chiefs tell us that with mouse there would be no systemization without mouse there'd be no systemization of knowledge. So a, an organizer. Mouse ended Renaissance man. Mouse ended Renaissance man and hearkened the age of speci specialization. Mouse knew from the very beginning that there is always more to learn. One can always delve deeper and deeper and deeper. If your personal medicine is mouse, you may be fearful of life, but very well organised, <laughs> with a compartment for everything. You should try to see a larger picture than the one staring in your face. Develop largesse of spirit. Try to become aware of the great dance of life. Realise that even though you may be sitting in Los Angeles, there's also a New York, a moon, a solar system, a galaxy and an infinite, infinite universe. Jump high, little friend, you will glimpse the sacred mountain. If mouse is in your card spread, its medicine is telling you to scrutinise. Look at yourself and others carefully. Maybe that big hunk of cheese is sitting on a trigger that will spring a deadly trap. Maybe the cat is in the pantry waiting for you. Maybe someone to whom you have been delegated authority, such as a doctor, a lawyer or a plumber, is not doing the job faithfully. The message is to see what is right before your eyes and take action accordingly. And in the contrary, then they give you the contrary um, one as well. But we didn't draw it in the contrary, so I'm not going to read from there. So we talked about different ways you could use this. And we talked about pulling one card, which we've done today. You could do a three card spread, past, present and future. But the authors of this book, Jamie Sams and David Carson, have, have come up with some really interesting um, spreads for you to try. There's healing powers in the animal medicine, you know, like in this interaction area. There's the nine totem animals, and that's a really interesting spread to use or to have a go at. The healing powers of animal medicines, then the nine totem animals, and there's a spread there for you to, to go into. These are quite deep and, you know, they're not just light things for you to do. Talks about the medicine shield there, which each animal has. There's a different pathway spread. There is a medicine wheel. So if you're really interested in um, North American 
earth medicine, I suppose, that's come from traditional knowledges, then this is a great, a great addition to anyone's collection. I particularly love it. I, I like I said, I don't use it all the time. It is one that I, that I bring out when I'm really looking for a deeper message. I do use these in my pick card readings, and I really like the the depth and the the different the different kind of associations that I get from these cards because it has that medicine tradition. It's it's a deck that that keeps giving and giving and and obviously you learn so much from it and I feel like that's kind of the message from that that mouse spirit too is that if you're watching this video you you enjoy learning and as do I. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it for you. I enjoy looking at my cards and you know and drawing out different ways of either using them or you know showing you things that you may not have seen before. I love these cards. Let me know in the comments below if you've got them, if you use them and what you thought of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I love doing I love oracle cards. I do pick a card readings, I do meditations, I do all sorts of things depending on what what is um calling me for that at that time but thanks for stopping by today hope to see you again soon bye